Gude. Today we're going to have a look at this tiny friend. I came back from the store and I bought this little friend, which is a muscle-powered flashlight. And it's actually quite bright. And the reason why I bought it is, first, um, it was cheap and it's interesting because it makes light without using battery power, only by muscle power. Um, it was cheap, I already said that, and you see it's locked by these screws, which are perfect because I want to take it apart and have a look at it. I'm expecting to find like two LEDs, okay, we can already see this, the button and um, a kind of storage for the energy, the electricity, which will be a capacitor, I think. And also I want to find out what makes this whining noise. Okay, I think about 10-15 years ago I bought uh, another flashlight, which was also LED. You see, it has like these four super bright LEDs in there. And if I put this on the ground, you see, it makes some light. And if I put this tiny friend next to it, it makes a lot of light. Yeah, this runs on three AA batteries. And I measured them, they are at about four volts. So they are pretty low. So what I did was I hooked up the lab bench power supply here. And we will power it from there. Just to have like an objective um, idea of how much light it will produce. Just compared to the crank one. Yeah. So that's one guy. That's the other one. So they are pretty even, I think. Okay, just wait a minute. I think I have a better way to measure it. Remember this guy? This also has a light sensor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this one. Um, it says that you need to charge it for one minute for five minutes of light. So we're just giving it a few turns. Like 10 seconds. Wee, wee, wee. Uh, one second. So, okay. Here we go. Here we are, shining it right through to it at around 2000. One five. It's really tricky. So, let's say two five, okay? And then we put this here. We are around 2.5, well, a little less. Apparently this guy is almost as bright as this one with fully charged batteries in direct light. So, but let's see how the light is focused. So this is, this is the flashlight and this is the other one. And we see This one is more focused and this is not, and therefore maybe they might give up the same light, but since this is more focused, there might be actually a higher beam hitting the receiver and therefore being brighter. Okay, so it's really impressive that this tiny guy is almost as bright as the flashlight from 10 years ago. So now comes the fun part. We know it works. We're charging it by turning the dynamo and filling maybe a capacitor with energy. And then we can use the energy whenever we like. So now we're going to have a look at it. This is just the magnet to hold the screws, hopefully. This is really easy.
That's really a long screw. Another long screw. Oh, the screw wasn't 100% tight. This is a different screw. It's a smaller screw. Okay, keep that in mind. It also has a really nice feel to it. The button is easy and clicky. And okay, that is obviously plastic, but it doesn't feel like it's breaking. It's not that easy. Ah, okay, that. So the tiny screw is just holding this back. Okay, we got that one. So now we already see the capacitor, or at least one capacitor. Okay. That's uh, and here we go. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Look at this. So let's start at the top of our little crank. Is connected to this tiny gear and it's held in place by this this clamp here see that the black one down there that will hold it in place so I'm not going to remove this because I hope I can put it back together again And then we have lots of gears. Which will speed it up tremendously. So we have one big gear on the top of the, the crank. And we have this one, two, three, and then it enters the tiny motor. Look at how tiny it is. Oy. So, okay, let's take this apart, okay, this can just be pulled out, it's kind of greasy, therefore I'm trying to, oh, anyway, okay, white, and the other one is next to the motor, these are just the power leads, to the LED, lots of hot glue, and the diffuser, here we got our two LEDs, and a screw to the tiny, is it a board now I think, and it's just a board where the LEDs are soldered to, you see, come on, you see here are just the pins for the LEDs and nothing else. Okay, and then we got our tiny capacitor. 3.6 volts, 2 milliampere hours. Maybe it's just a battery, I, I'm curious. No, oh, okay. So it's, I, I thought it was a capacitor, but it's not. Actually see an EMH. This is just a normal um, battery. Yeah, look, they just charged and then decharged. That's nice. And it's a sturdy one. It's not a lithium ion which you have to hold hands every time you, <laughs> you put energy in there to not overcharge it or discharge it too much. They are a little more forgiving. So basically there shouldn't be that much magic going on on the board. Basically it will just, I expect it to just route the energy, um, the electricity to the battery or, or to the LED. Let's have a look. But since it's just a normal battery. One. Oh, 
only come so far, so why stop now? Okay. Just, okay. This is net. Oh, don't stress it too much. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Come on. Ah, perfect. So, and we see oh, not much going on. <clears throat> some capacitors, some resistors, like this stuff, triax or whatever. Really straightforward for me. Nothing fancy going on. This was just press fitted. So. Or pressed in there. So let's. No, yeah, basically that's it. It's a motor, a battery, no capacitor, and some LEDs plus a switch and some power management. No, not power management, it's just <laughs> electron guidance, I would say. <laughs> to smooth out what comes from here and goes to the battery and make sure that everything is fine in DC for the battery and for the LED. Okay, let's put it back together and... Ah, the, the white one is kept in place by the metal pin here. So this will be the trickiest part to align all the metal pins. Already aligned the first one. I think. <gasps> Hear that? It's working. And Seems to work. Perfect. So that's a tiny thing. All plastic. Maybe it will break together if you <laughs> charge it like more than 10 times. But it's super bright for its size. Tiny battery. If you connect them, um, put some wires outside, you can charge it without cranking it. And yeah, that's it. Still working. I'm surprised too. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching.